in chapter 10, I guess, I, I don't know who I'm supposed to ask this, this question to. You write specifically about intellectual deception. So you wrote about that? Yeah, so in chapter 10 is called Intellectual Deception, and it delves into technology, evolution, and UFOs. And so today there's, there's, we're, we're bombarded with all kinds of new technologies. There's artificial intelligence. You know, for the first time in history, you actually have the technologies where you could actually have this mark of the beast system. And for in, in the, the century and a half prior to this time where we have all these incredible technologies, we've also had the teaching of evolution. So, you know, kids are taught in school that essentially there's no God and you can do whatever you want. Mm. And so now, because humans have an innate hole in their heart for God, and God put that there, so now there's this, this whole re, sort of like a replacement religion of belief in UFOs and new age and new spirituality. And so all these like false teachings are deceiving huge numbers of people. Like a poll showed that even 60% of the people who go to church, you know, some of them believe in reincarnation. They believe all paths lead to heaven and all these sort of new age kind of things. So the devil's just, you know, pulling out all the stops to deceive us as they, as they move into the end times. So we are not really a Christ-centered nation. I, yeah, I, I believe, you know, America was de definitely founded on great biblical precepts, the pilgrims and the Puritans, but we've gotten so far away from that now. And, and the reason is we, was we're not reading the Word of God. We're not looking at what God told us is the truth. Jesus said the truth will set you yeah. free, and we've gotten so far away from it that the devil's just taking advantage of us and, and uh, deceiving in many people. Absolutely. How does the deception of today compare with the deception historically? Hmm. I mean, there's been many times in history where there's been, you know, great, great deception. But if you, if you look at American history, I would say the level of deception today is unparalleled in American history because, you know, the, the governments and militaries, intelligence agencies of the world have all these incredible tools at their disposal. You know, you hear about the social credit scores in China yeah. and without, you know, these, these mm -hmm. scores track, you know, how well you sort of tow the company party line in China. And if you don't go along with the program, you can't, can't rent an apartment. You can't get a you know good job. Yeah. And so now they're beginning to roll out similar technologies in countries around the world. And, and there's many people believe there's, there's already social credit scores in America. They just right. haven't publicly announced it yet. Right. So this is like one of the ways that they can, you know, are trying to control us and censor us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. I would add to that, Jim, too. You're asking about why now well, think about it. The technology, communication system, social network is all increased hundreds of old. A uh, man's knowledge is increasing every few years. Mm -hmm. All of this is combining as we race toward the end of time. Mm -hmm. So the deception gets is more and more prevalent yes. as these mediums are being unleashed around the world. Wow. That's right. 